I just want to talk to you about exercise. And if you're over 40 and you're a female, you could be struggling with exercise, struggling with weight, because it is natural and normal for you to put weight on when you start hitting into the menopausal stage. Why is that? It's because as your estrogen levels drop in your womb, in that whole area, your ovaries and that, you're looking for more of it. And one of the biggest areas you can get it, believe it or not, is well, you get estrogen through progesterone and you get that from the, the adrenal gland should take over the job of producing your estrogen, your progesterone, which produces your estrogen for you. But if you're overstressed, and most women are because of all they're doing right now and all they've been doing for years, then your adrenals are, are doing the fight and flight thing. So they're not going to help you. And then you're going to look from it, from, for it from your adipose tissue in your skin, the fatty tissue in your skin. And that's then why you put that bit more weight on because then you've got more, more of a stock of estrogen to draw on. Now, we can get it other ways. So there is no need for that to happen. Normally when that starts to happen, then you lose, you lose your wellness mojo, as I call it. You, lo you, you just get disheartened, don't you? You just don't want to, to go there anymore. But that's the time you need to go there because more than ever right now, your, everything is changing. Your body needs more nutrition. You need to get good nutrition in and talk to me about that as well because I can give you advice on that as, as a kinesiologist around what's the best nutrition for you to take because we're all different on that. But you also need daily weight-bearing motion, daily weight-bearing exercise, and you don't need to be killing yourself for it. Rebounding on this little mini trampoline is 67%, 68% more effective than an hour like out there running. It is that much more effective and it absorbs 87% of the bounce. Now I need to show you this. And for anybody who is rebounding right now and, and, is, and has started rebounding before and has actually done too much too quick, I have programs up on my website and they literally take you into rebounding, starting literally with this sort of walking motion where you don't actually lift your feet off the rebounder. You lean slightly forward and you're on the balls of your feet mostly and you're doing a walking motion because you start to work these muscles and into here. And I don't know about you, but when you sit into the menopause, this is the area that gets affected the most and you get fatigued. Now, even me doing this for a minute, I can still feel it and I'm rebounding every day for 20 minutes and I've done it already this morning. Okay, so that's, a, that's, that's even more than a minute. That's what you start with. Then eventually I, I bring you into doing a bound with the walking motion and bring that in. Slow and steady wins the race. You don't have to be rebounding for fitness. You will overdo it and you'll get hooked on the endorphins, the feel good hormones, which is brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. But you only, need to, you only need to exercise for your wellness. You don't need to overdo it. You don't need to put your body to an extreme level of exercise that then you, so it's like pulling a band and then you stop doing that extreme level and just go bing, but your body doesn't always come back. And it actually feels quite aggrieved and will let you know it. And then the next time you go to exercise, you pull a muscle or you overstrain something. So we need to respect our body. We need to listen to what it needs and we need to give it what it needs. And rebounding, in my view, if you're a woman, you're over 40, you've possibly, maybe you're not even over 40 yet, but get rebounding. Get this. This is my exercise equipment for the rest of my life. It's Fitbounce Pro. It's from rebound.fitness. And if you use my name, Nuli, you'll get 10% off because I arranged that with them because I think it's so good and I do recommend it. But apart from that, if you have one of these in your house, get it out. Get rebounding for your wellness. Go over to my website, click the link here in this and learn a little bit more about it. Get exercising for your wellness, not your fitness. Fitness will come naturally. Exercise for your wellness. Listen to your body. Don't overstress it. Don't overstrain it. You need to exercise for your wellness. I can't put it any clear. I'm like a broken record. I know I am. I exercise for my wellness. I listen to my body. I don't push it too far. But I do also listen to it and make sure that it's it's toning and responding and and reflexing well. I also listen to my nutritional needs and I sometimes overdo that um, and, and then I underdo it and my water intake needs and you know we need a wellness plan. We need 
We need to be on our wellness journey, guys. Especially if you're a woman over 40, you need to be on, you need to be your own best friend, basically. And you need to be on your wellness journey. And I think there's many sides to that. There's the physical, the chemical, the emotional, the spiritual, soulful side to it. And this is the physical, part of the physical exercise. And 20 minutes on this is the same as an hour outside walking. 20 minutes just on this is an hour outside walking. If you haven't got time and you're always saying, I don't have time for my exercise, imagine you could have this in your house, get up those 20 minutes. Well, you're gonna start with one minute if you follow my program. You start with one minute a day a week and you build up. But you're going to get up to a max of 20 minutes, 30 if you want, so get up those extra 20, 30 minutes, getting that little bit brighter, get on your rebounder, get your exercise done, get your lymphatic system boosted, get your mind clearer, get your whole mood boosted, get your bones well and truly worked, get your muscles toned. And as I said already, you're not doing it for fitness, you will get fit. You will get fit. And you do it at your own risk. Listen, go over to my website, check it out, check rebounding out, think about it, start it slowly. If you're over 40, over 50 like me, start it slowly and build it up. You will be glad you did that. Not to say when you get to 20, you won't take off and do a lot of other things on it. Absolutely. But your lymphatic system needs to clear and retune slowly. It needs to clear and retune slowly. Your muscles need to tone and build up into this exercise slowly. And you need to do it slowly. And you don't need to overdo it. You don't need to push yourself to a point of injuring yourself. We're worth more than that. We're worth doing it slowly and well and getting well. And getting on with living your best life. Life's too short, lads. Come on, get exercising for your wellness. Please like and share this video with your friends because every woman over 40 needs to be exercising for their wellness. Get a rebounder. Bungee sprung is better than steam sprung because the bungee sprung even absorbs more of the impact. It's low impact, it's weight bearing, it's everything you need. Tell everybody. Please like and share and thanks for watching and I'm away now. Bye.